going to be masters. Hope so. Our home improvement hero, Joe Bahari, is here on this Bank Holiday Monday with the gadgets and tools you need to make DIY easy. Yeah, <laughs> right. fingers crossed. Absolutely. We are going back to basics today. So yeah. everybody's going to have done a bit of DIY this weekend. There may have been a bit of DIY disasters out there. <laughs> so we're going to go back to basics to teach you how to use your, your hand tools properly. Okay. First of all, we're going to start with a hammer. Now, a hammer's a really important tool, best tool in your toolbox, but hammers can be a bit intimidating. A lot of people might tend to buy this, yeah. which is a teeny tiny kind of Mickey Mouse hammer. It really is... Very good there with the crews <laughs> yeah, and everything. Indeed. Yeah. So, well, well, done, well done, well, well done. done. It really is only good for small, tiny pins okay. rather yeah. than big work. Hammers are sold on weights, so um, you want around a 16-ounce hammer. A 16-ounce hammer is a great DIY hammer. If you're in a professional trade, you might want to get a 20-ounce. But what a 16-ounce hammer will do is allow you to use the weight of the hammer to actually do okay. the job effectively. So don't get distracted in a shop, because it's exactly what Rochelle Humes would do. Go, oh, she's cute. <laughs> it's so cute! <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just buy her, why not? You're like, is that an accessory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but actually, if you feel the weight of the difference between yeah. the two of them, you'll realise that actually Ooh. this hammer is going to <laughs> do is the like work for you. This is like what my son will have in his pretend toolbox. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> But the other thing that people do with hammers is they hold them at the top because they think, oh, it's really heavy, I don't want to hold it. So they hold them at the top and that makes it really unwielding. The point of the handle is that you hold it <laughs> so that you can get a full fulcrum and use that positive momentum right. to come down on your nail. When you're holding your hammer, yep. preferably try and grip it properly on the handle yep. and then use your thumb to kind of create that directional like when you play motion. Tennis. The power. Exactly that. Yes. Yeah, exactly that. Just laughing and then at when me you're... and you do, doing <laughs> DIY. <laughs> right, See, hopefully on. after today you will. Yeah. And when you're holding your nail, you want to hold your nail in between your, your thumb and your forefinger, yeah. and then just tap. The head of the hammer has to go directly on to the nail. Yeah. Use your eye yes. to guide the hammer. Look at the head of the nail. As opposed and, to? As opposed to just looking around. Oh, hang on, that's just <laughs> yes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> No, that's... No, I'm just saying, that's, that's, what, that's, that's what might happen. Way yeah, exactly. happen. But a lot of people look at the, uh, look at the head of the hammer yeah. rather than look at the nail. Okay. So keep your eye on the, on the nail. Why are you moving away will... from me? Because I just... I'm, I don't want to be near you right now. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> and then you will just tap it in gently. OK. A few taps. And then you, once it's set in there, yeah. you can really go to town. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Boom. That's it. Nice. Come well on. done. Direct yes. man. <laughs> Never liked you. Yeah. But actually, a lot of people use the wrist. Okay. Don't use the wrist like you did. You've got some big muscles there. Use the arm oh, the, the full motion okay. and the gravity will come down. There you okay. go. You could do a bit of DIY rather than gymming every morning. You could yeah, do a there bit you of... go. Uh, yeah, OK. Sure. If you are scared of How many sets your... of shelves do I need in my house? <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I need a few if you would mind. It's useful for flat pack as well. If you are scared of hitting your fingers, yes. you can use something like a comb to hold the nail into place. But actually, it's really useful to just get to use yeah. the yeah. fingers. Yeah. Now, if you want to remove a nail, if you've got a bent nail like this, which yeah. you can knock back into place, but you use the claw. Now, on a large nail like this, you might not have enough traction, enough length, so you can prop your hammer up Science. just to get a little yeah. bit more oh, leverage yeah. on yeah. it. And if you really are worried, if you've got nice wallpaper at home, make sure you've put, like, a piece of cardboard or something like that to protect the wall right. from your dirty hammer. Yeah. Right, OK. So that's hammers for you. Practice at home. Thank you. Not in the studio. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love this. Now, we've got tape measures. Tape measures are a really useful tool, obviously. They have a couple of different features, but the first thing I want to show you is the snap. Now, if you extend a good quality tape measure... Now I would stand back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I trust Joe. You, you I don't trust. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to find out where that breaking point is, and this is a five-metre tape measure, but because it's a bit Ooh. bulky... Oh, yeah. Right. It's all going off today, yeah. isn't it? That break is not until three metres, yeah. so that's really useful to have that kind of information to make sure that if you are doing, like, quite long work, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got a good snap on your tape measure. And you could do that in the shop, couldn't you? You, you could, could try that in exactly. the shop. Okay. Yeah. Um, the other thing that you've got on the tape measure is the hook. Now, the hook is loose, and people are always like, is it broken? It's not broken. The hook is loose for a reason. So you can pull your tape measure taut when you are hooking it onto something, or you can push that tape measure, butt it up against something, yeah. and then you've got an accurate measurement. Right, so that's okay. exactly what mm -hmm. that's used for. Now, some tape measures have a really handy little feature. They have... Two of these do, two of these don't. They have the measurement on the back so that you can measure between two points nice and easily and you just add the measurement there and the measurement of that rather than having to bend right. the tape yeah. measure yeah. up yeah, 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 awkwardly. Yeah. So that's your tape measures. 
really useful to get a good quality tape measure. Mm -hmm. But nice. you can buy one of those for under £10. So. A good one for a under, good one okay, for under great. £10. Yeah. yeah. Then we've got spirit levels. Spirit levels have a lot of different uses. Yeah, pocket that there one. There you go, sorry. I just thought that's it. That's that what one's you got do, my name it? on it. Yeah, you've got a little um... yeah, hook. Yeah. So, so spirit levels are very useful. You don't need a big one like this unless you're doing lots of like complicated DIY okay. jobs. A small one is perfectly valid. The reason this one's got a piece of string on the end is because you can use it as a plumb line. If you are hanging wallpaper, for example, you can use this to get a straight line on your wall in order to which to make a mark. So you find where it's balanced, the spirit, the bubble, it has to be in the middle of the two lines. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you know that that is a straight line and you can hang your first bit of wallpaper. And that's where you match. Against it. Exactly. OK, got you. Yeah. Got okay. you. So the other tools that we are going to look at today are screwdrivers. Yeah. Now, screwdrivers are very useful. It's important to get ones that have got nice ergonomic grip on them. So you want to hold them in the flat palm of your hand so that you've got a nice grip. If you hold them like this, you're mm -hmm. going to be, they're going to be yeah. loose in your hand, so you need to hold them well. And having a magnetic head oh. is always very useful. That was good. Hey, hey. you want to have a go? Uh, is this... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, see? Love that. Lovely. And good. the other tool that a lot of people tend to don't buy and use from the flat pack is an Allen key. Yeah. But actually, these Allen keys are made of soft materials and they're really not very useful at all and they're terrible for your hands. So if you are going to do some DIY, especially building flat pack, make sure you buy a really good set of hex keys, Allen keys. They've got a nice ergonomic handle. They're really useful to have in the drawer. Easy, again, under £10 these yeah. are, and yeah. they're very, very good for all of that flat pack that you might be building over your bank holiday I've weekend. just got this weird drawer in my bit. kitchen that's got, like, so many Allen keys. <laughs> <laughs> like batteries. All of these ones. Old phones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Everyone that's has that yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's got that but drawer. these ones are absolutely useless, so make sure you get a decent set. I'll get them out okay. of the drawer. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you very much indeed. Uh, next on ITV1,